Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you're all doing well. Okay, so it's it's Boxing Day. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of messing around with my headphones here because the wife got me some really fucking awesome headphones. She got me some uh, Beats Studio Wireless, uh, which they're fucking awesome. The sound is amazing. I threw them on last night. And start working on a new track actually, and I finished it this morning because I could just hear it so fucking well with them. I just I went to town on it. Anyways, but th these headphones are amazing. However, I'm not used to having both ears fully covered and engulfed. It's just crazy. So it's kind of a very muffling sound. And then if I turn the monitor thing on, then I can hear myself talk, and it gets really weird. So we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll just uh, click this off. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know where it's going. But, uh, oh. as you can tell, I'm already high. Happy holidays, everybody, of course. I was gonna do a little something on Christmas Eve, but our Christmas Eve plans were much longer, so yeah, I wasn't able to. I don't think anybody was heartbroken with that. And then I was hoping to maybe do something on Christmas Day, but the day was super, super busy. So I... That wasn't going to happen either. My bad. My bad. You know. Still friends, right? Still friends. But it's Boxing Day. Got something out right now. Um, by the time it's up, of course, it's going to be the 27th. Because uh, I, was, I was debating about going live for this one. But I was like, you know what? Uh, it's, it's A lot of people are going back to work. I don't think. There's no point going live. i got to record this. That way I can throw it up at a good time for you guys tomorrow. Everybody can have a listen. And we'll get back into it. Uh, I am going to try to do a little something something though. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, New Year's Eve. Because that is the build up to, uh, to my birthday. New Year's Day. But shh. I didn't say that. I don't want anybody to know. Then you shouldn't say it on here. Right? Mind you. Oh man. I'm so high. I only had about. Uh, I, don't, I think I've taken two dabs. This evening, that's it. Ah, oh, this this damn cord. That's not even the cord. So yeah. Anyways, back to the headphones, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, they're awesome. However, my laptop does not have Bluetooth because it's it's a cool laptop. And so I it, thankfully the headphones are smart enough to know that some people might be idiots with some devices. So it came with this, you know, optional cord. That comes up. It's got a full mic on it and all that fun stuff. And then I can wire it into the head headphones and to the pe to the laptop or whatever, which works. But the port on my laptop is kind of not so awesome. So if I wiggle it the wrong way, all of a sudden I can't hear anything out of the right side of my headphones. But it was like that with any heads any set of any set of headphones that I would try on it. Fuck, I'm high. Whew. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. So, like I did refer to kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit a while ago, like two minutes ago, maybe, that I did uh, make a new track here. Oh, fuck, I gotta take off one of these headphones. Ah, uh, the echo was crazy. Anyways, I have one new track that I created, uh, Dance Till Midnight. I don't know. I like it. It's decent. I haven't heard feedback from anybody. Except for my kids, and I don't know. Maybe they might just think it's it's not that good. Who knows? Maybe they just tell me what I wanted to hear. But uh, let's see what you guys think. Let me know. Dance till midnight. Let's uh, let's get into this one, then we'll get into some puffing.
So it's obviously fairly bass heavy. And it's kind of all over the place, but it does have a bit of rhythm and flow to it. It's not seamless, but neither was the mood I was in when I made it. Um, and actually, there's was, there was a bit of a, a story behind of the, this song. I made it kind of to help inspire my youngest because she's kind of getting into music. We we got her a keyboard for Christmas and it's it's fucking huge. And she's been playing on it. She wants to learn and she wants to play and she wants to create music and she wants to be creative. And when you're all over the place, when you have ADHD, it's really hard to keep your focus and not to follow one task. But with music, you can tell your story however way you want. If your story is going from instead of, you know, the travel here to the story here to this to that. If it's, you know, your your beginning over here and your your end is kind of in the middle, but then you had you know, almost like a rebirth of it and it's you know, it's all over the place. That's the best way to explain the creativity of ADHD when you're trying to work on something high or not, I should say. Uh, it's not everybody understands it, but I think that with this track, she understood it because she really liked it. Like she was sitting while I was working on it, she just came up this morning and sat next to me and put her head, her ear next to my the headphones so she could kind of hear it a bit and feel the bass. And for a good half an hour, she just sat there and just uh, listened to the story. She was really getting into it. And she hasn't fully heard it completed with these headphones yet. But uh, I can't wait to show her tomorrow because she will like it. I, I like it. It's uh, it gives me a lot of energy. It makes me want to get up and dance. It'll be a good song to listen to in the car unless I blow out the speakers. I don't know. Like I said, very heavy bass, but uh, I like it. I like it, and she likes it, and that's what I did. I made it for her. So, but yeah. So you know what? Moving on up. Hopefully everybody had a good Christmas, a good Christmas Eve. Our, ours was fairly good. It, it was a little, little tough, a little sad, not having um, our uh, the one child with us. Anyway, I don't want to get into any, any of that right now. <sighs> but uh, yeah, we had there's like it turned out there's about thirteen of us, which was pretty decent. We did a lot of prep in the morning. The wife and I just got nailed. You know, I think we ended up competing kind of with uh, my father-in-law. Well, okay, I should say I ended up competing with my father-in-law because he hosted a Christmas uh, spread about a week ago. It's pretty good. It's always good. Then the grandfather hosted Christmas Eve. Oh, there's a dab in there. Sweet. And he puts on a pretty good spread. And then I had Christmas Day. So I did the spread, and then I did the dinner. The dinner was spot on. Everybody was so fucking full and good. Oh, it was good. But the spread, phew, I had 48 items. All different items. Now, this goal is not just foods, okay? It's like your foods, uh, different drinks, uh, including dips, everything that's out for consumption digestion whatever but it was mainly food I think I won next year he's gonna try to have to try and top me here I think I just threw a dab on the floor I don't know oh there it is there we go okay I got it I got it I got it don't worry all right now hang on just gotta adjust this because I, I do need a little something 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 in the background because yeah Right, not that one. Too, a little too, a little too much. A little too much. But the only problem here is that uh, the settings on the computer are not super awesome. Not in the least bit. Okay, neat. You configured nothing. You did not work. Fix me, damn you! I just, I just want to get high. That's what I want to do. I just, I just want to get high. I want to get higher. Okay, 
and that's what we're gonna go with in here. Boom. I don't hear any difference. <laughs> that's the fun. Alright, so I'm looking to get higher here. Meanwhile, I'm already fairly high. Is that a good thing? Or is that a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna get high. It's gonna happen. I do need to open this up. There we go. These headphones are awesome, but I gotta get used to them. Because I'm not used to, you know, those big headphones. Not that they're huge, they're actually fairly sleek. It's really cool, and they fold up. It's kind of neat. Like, they have a cart. They have their own case. Like, it's a hard shell case. It's really cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the wife nailed the issue. And by the way, as I mentioned on my last podcast, that I thought it was 100%. Yes, you know what? From stocking to each individual gift, I was flawless this year. Boom! Cha-ching! I won this one. It wasn't competition. It wasn't at all. However, it was nice to actually get one where I even even 50% I would have been happy with. But I got 100. I even asked her, I'm like, okay, are you sure? Like, 100%? Because she was asking me, like, are you happy? Are you happy? It's like, yes. Oh, yes. We're each apparently hard to shop for. We did it. We did it. We spoiled each other a little bit. Oh my god. My eyes are so dry. Oh. Well, I do believe that uh, puff time. If you don't know what that is, simple. I'm going to take a puff, and you're invited to join me. Which means you can roll up a uh, blunt. Roll a cone, pack a cone if you need to. Whatever. Bunk. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> oh, frick. Uh, just just grab whatever you got and uh, take a rip along with me. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Oh, my throat is sore, though. I do believe I'm getting sick. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. (coughs) That was some um, shit. What was that? (coughs) Something really good. Bubba Kush. Uh, Concentrate from Bud Zone Canada. Whew. <coughs> oh, damn. Very, <coughs> very, very, very terpy. <coughs> but I cough for a reason, so, you know, just now I <coughs> am. Let's do a, <coughs> a little scrape on this guy while we got everything out. Before we load that next stab. <coughs> so tomorrow it's kind of back to work. And then I gotta start some payroll files for some people. Huh. <coughs> I'll work on a couple of contracts. It's just like, ugh. Oh yeah. It's been quiet so far, which is good. Because I want the year to end on a good note. <coughs> because next year it's gonna be insane. I just know it. It's gonna be a good insane though. It's gonna be busy. There's gonna be changes on all sides. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So, hmm. New Year's resolution. Ooh, should I make one? Ooh, let's see. Is that a good thing? Bad thing? All right, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do one. My New Year's resolution is to... uh, hmm. I don't know. I haven't thought that far. I just want to have a good year. I need it to be a good year. Uh, I need to get 
out of the the funk of being depressed it's gotten better way better some days are just moments right <coughs> I, uh, the people that I'm choosing to surround myself with in my work environment now and on my team and uh, the people uh, who I'm uh, bringing on to subcontract I think if I by bringing on the right people and working with the right people keeps me in a better mindset when I work with positivity psh, fuck yeah I can help create positivity motherfuckers I'm a little bit high sorry <coughs> I've just you know when you work with people who are positive and want to be positive and just get shit done it helps motivate you because when even when you're feeling that low you know it's pretty especially with, when you work with people who understand exactly 100 percent 100 percent understand and uh they don't sympathize they empathize but they understand what you're going through and they know when to give a little extra support when to help nudge you and when to kick you in the ass right so 2018 is gonna be it's gonna be a good year um i just i want to get a jump on everything finish this year off right and uh just fucking go for the start man go for the start so yeah my resolution is to just <sighs> work smart work hard obviously but just do what i set out to do a year ago because it's been a year since I originally had these plans that I have obviously not mentioned on the podcast because I wasn't podcasting back then. But I just had all these different ideas on how to better the area that I deal with. And the amount of people that I that work for me in different departments. And, you know, the different contracts and just everything that I have. I need to do what I wanted to do then. I need to elevate my game. I need to say, hey, depression. I know you're there. And some days you're going to try to drag me down. But I'm just going to keep fighting. I can't give up, right? Can't give up. <sighs> Easier said than done some days. But uh, like I said, surround yourself with positivity. By the way, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah, fuck, why not? Why can I actually? <coughs> <coughs> Had nothing to do with the Wi Fi. We, uh, we started seeing a uh, counselor for just grief and yeah, just life. Right? I'm pretty stoked. I'm not going to get too involved in it because it's not information that my wife would want shared. So, uh, I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm glad we took steps and I'm going to continue to take those steps and eventually uh, open up so I can I can talk about my grief, my loss, my pain, my sorrow to people who I don't know. Someone else, I guess. I don't know. I guess it really comes down to the right questions, right? Because somebody who is professionally trained is going to know the right questions to ask you to get you to, to talk about things, to motivate yourself, to lift yourself back up, to process, to accept the loss and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a good night. It's a great night, folks. It's a great night. Why? So really fucking high. Yep. 
And that's okay. pisses me off. Okay, I'm gonna throw off. No. Okay, I can't do it. I tried to do it. I tried to put the echo thing back on the monitor and put the headphones fully over the ear. I couldn't do it. Too much. It's too much. It's too much. One ear. Perfect. Flawless. Awesome. Works for me. Yeah, so I uh, deleted a, a video. It's about 23 seconds long. <clears throat> Actually, from Christmas yesterday. And, uh,. It did, like I, uh, it went into my the recycle folder in my phone, <clears throat> and I, like an idiot, I deleted, I cleared that out because I didn't know I had deleted it until after the fact, right? So I downloaded all these apps to try and recover the video, and nothing, nothing. I even hooked it up to my to my computer, got another program, installed it on there, uh, tried to root my phone that apparently because my phone's not rootable for something I don't know it was just like come on I just need to find this video like it, it's got to be in there somewhere yes but I cannot access it and I, I've heard like if you have something deleted you can still access it to the point of before you turn off your phone or the device I don't know is that true somebody somebody tell me I could just google it yeah, I'll do that later. When I, when I re-listen to the podcast, I'll be like, oh, yeah. So, that's the plan. But it's, I don't know, it's just sad. I didn't know. And unfortunately, I, I, although I, well, I do have all my shit set up to automatically back up, the only one that's plugged in. So, it didn't back up anything yet. Otherwise, it all goes to the Google Drive. I've got 200 gigs of Google space. Yeah, because I have. Oh shit! How much do I use? Hmm. You know what? That's a good question. Let's look that up. I can look that one up. That's not gonna take me too long. It might, but you never know. You guys want to. You guys want to know? I'm sure, right? So, let's do that. Photos. Let's click on this. Click on that. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, settings maybe? Let's do yeah, let's go there. Settings, uh, oh, nope, nope, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I I don't know. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, are we? No. Yep, okay. So I have two hundred gigabytes. I have one hundred and fifty gigabytes, so I've used forty seven gigs of Google Space. Yep. And I love it because Google's never going down. I've got all the family photos up there. Videos, everything. All my photography. Well, no, actually, I have another 30 gigs that have to go online. Holy shit. I should get on that soon. Not right now, though. Because it's... It's smoking. I don't know the rest of that song. <clears throat> but I do know how to take it down. So what about you guys? Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Any New Year's plans? We're not going to get too crazy and wild here. Just going to have a few friends over. It'll be a good night. A great night. So, I'm looking forward to it. But it is officially puff time. are a little, a little tender. Well, it, well, I do gotta tell you guys this one thing. Uh, <laughs> so, yesterday, of course, kids were out. They weren't, they weren't home. They were across the street with neighbors because we had an arrangement for them to uh, go and see the, girl, uh, the neighbor's girls who were in just for a little bit because they had to go back to their mom's. So, uh, they were over there for a couple of hours. So, which was nice for them to go over. But once uh, the rest of our family started showing up, my older sister and I, 
I better do down to the pub cave. And, uh... Had a rip. Well, then my wife's uncle, he came down. Because the wife told him uh, that we're having a pub. So I asked him if, if he'd ever had a dab before. He said no. I said, do you want to? So I explained what it was. And uh, he said, yeah, because he, you know, he smokes uh, flour all the time. But he never tried concentrates. So he took two, I think. No, maybe one or two. No, yeah, he took two decent rips. Um, oh, yeah. And he was just, whew, he loves it. He loves it. So, anyways, that's a sh very short version because it was a lot funnier, but it was just, it was crazy. Neither of my sister or my uh, uncle there had tried dabs before, and now they're both like, holy crap. Like, both will harm stamp pain for you. It doesn't do as much for me for the pain. I don't, it pisses me off. But uh, they were both like, oh, they felt good. I was like, it's a completely different kind of high, right? So, anyways, that's the story of that. I do want to thank everybody for listening. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. So, there'll be another one very soon. A couple days. So, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But we'll probably get a couple more out before the new year. And if I don't get anything out on New Year's Eve, which is a hit or miss, I will get something out on New Year's Day, because that is my birthday. So, I'm going to go, I'll probably go live. <clears throat> yeah, that's, yeah, let's do that. I'll go live. Uh, maybe about 10 p.m. New Year's Day. Alright. So, let's hit this. <sighs> Thanks for listening. Give me a follow on Spreaker.com, Google Play, and iTunes. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitter. Subscribe, follow, show me some love, tag me, I'll tag you. Follow, follow, I do all that fun stuff, and I'll give shoutouts. And, of course, be sure, if you're in Canada, be sure to check out uh, BudZone Canada over at BudZone.ca. Just got to be over 19. Show, provide proof of uh, age. So be responsible. But it's mail order. It comes right to your door. It's awesome. Good deals every day. Check them out. And all the music that you've been listening to is all from No Copyright Sound. Check them out. They're on uh, YouTube. A lot of good stuff. Except for the couple tracks that were mine. So yeah. Let's hit this last rip. <sighs> <sighs> I'll get those lungs expanded a little bit. <clears throat> All right, stay lifted and keep smiling. Peace. <coughs> it was too big for my mouth. I didn't want to waste a drop. <coughs> Ooh, wait, that sounds horrible. All right, see you guys next time.